Now, we're leaving that till towards the end, but one of the other skill backs that we taught the kids was how to walk on stilts. Now, walking on stilts isn't as easy as it sounds, and all of us have tried with the old handheld stilts or the two Milo tins with a bit of string around them. These kids are actually wearing learner stilts, which they actually strap onto their legs, and they're incredibly heavy, and just walking on them is quite a feat. All right. We had a, something happen during the night. We had something in the milk in Kensington because they grew. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have the Giants, please? Now you come. job in the circus because they are responsible for keeping everyone safe. All right, let's throw some things for us, please. Let's um, stamp our feet going from Ty Go. Big stamp. Right, very good. Now let's do some knee lifts, really nice and high. Let's go. Excellent. Now, that's fairly easy. That's how we start them off. try some um, kicks for you. To get their bronze certificate in still walking, they have to do some things. They have to be able to tie on, they have to be able to do some knee lifts and kicks, and these are some things they have to be able to do. We're going to do a forward kick. Think you can do that? Okay, let's go for Nathaniel. Nice big kick, go. Um, 
jive, something a little bit harder, okay? Okay, a bit faster now, let's go and go. in folk dancing a while ago called the heel toe polka. Fairly easy when you're on the ground, fairly difficult when you're on stilts. Okay, could you face your partners please? Let's move into lines, girls. Okay, let's see how they go. I can't remember the steps. Ready? One, two, three, four. incredibly hard. Can we have the plate spinners please? Alright, out we come please. Alright, nice long line, thank you. Now, go with the quick You have one plate, you have one stick, and you would think, yeah, easy to spin it on, anyone can spin it like this, piece of cake. But that's not good enough in a circus. In a circus you have to be able to spin it the correct way, which is... Okay, okay. Right, show me how to spin them properly, please, guys. Now, plates tend to have a mind of their own, so you may notice the odd drop. That one, obviously, is a very naughty one that Tom's got. Right, it's going, going. And that's the way to get it spinning. Looks easy, but it's actually quite hard. Now, once you've got a plate spinning, there are a few things you can do with it. Besides getting it spinning. Right, okay. Let's balance it first. Please balance it, guys, on your finger. Now, the secret to balancing anything is not to look at your hand, but to look at the top of it. Let's do some 3D plate spinning, guys. Get the audience. Get give a couple of little kids a haircut. Take it off, go on. Take it off.
Now what we're going to do is going to show you some control because it's easy enough to get it spinning and it's easy enough to hold it. But to actually get it round your back through your legs a little bit trickier. So can we have a few people stepping forward? Thank you. And let's try it. First, through the legs while it's spinning, please.
Great. 
you what, me bucko. I'm going to write something on this card, got it? And yep. you should be able to tell me what it is, right? Yep.
circus. Cage them up, lock them up, make them perform for people. That's why in my circus you will never find any animals. You will not find an animal in this circus whatsoever. <laughs>
what they are showing you is something called Cascade. Three ball Cascade. One, two, three.
I was trying to make a list of them this afternoon. I thought I'd better not because I'm bound to miss someone out. Can I just say a huge thank you to all the teachers, all the parents who really made the show.